everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. Huck drop just moments away here. They have a chance to close things out. Does that relax them at all? No, I don't think so. I think you feel more urgency. You want to get this over as fast as you can. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Centering pass, right in front. Oh, a clutch save. Dead center, excellent save. And we've got a two-on-one. Moves it to Schwartz. Sent into the offensive zone. Colorado's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Landeskog's picking up steam. Puts it to the front of the net. Comes up with the stop. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Feeds the puck across to Pareko. St. Louis takes it across the line. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Puts it on goal and makes the save. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. St. Louis wins the draw. Dunn's lugging the puck. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Feeds it on over to Sanford. Jabs the puck away. Taken by Johnson. Slides the puck to Saad. Solid check to slow him down. And he serves it across to O'Reilly. Sanford's gaining momentum. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. Bennington's helping out everybody here. The defense doesn't have to worry about the front of the net anymore. The puck's in the corner. Quick pass to Fult. With the stop. Nice job tying up his opponent. Handles the puck. And now he angles it across to Comper. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save with the glove. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Passes on over to Bozak. Can't find his man. Here's a shot with the stop. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. The Avs win the draw. Puck scooped up by Cole. He was locked in there. The Blues are in transition. Puck dumped in. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. And here's the pass to Jost. Into the attacking area from the left side. Denies him! He got all of it! Slides the puck over. Takes the feed. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. The Avs take it along the wall. Donskoy's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the call. The Blues will lose a man tripping the call. Trying to get to the puck. He reaches his stick right into the guy's feet, and down he goes. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. 
And if you're one of these power play guys, James, you can't wait now. It's your first opportunity of the night. You get out on the power play, you want to make a difference. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And the puck leaves the zone. The Avs have it behind the cage. Sends a pass over. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And they manage to clear it. Makar's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Here's a short pass to Kadri. Stopped by the goaltender. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. The Blues win the draw. And they move the puck out of harm's way. That pass goes a little sideways. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Quick feed to McKinnon. Comfer's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they'd done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. The Avs tally the game's first goal. When you get yourself into the middle part of a period, this is where the game starts to take shape, and now they've got the lead. Puck picked up by Graves. On the attack along the boards. And they fail to go tape to tape. St. Louis has it near the wall. Centering pass. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Answered the call there. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. From the point, they take control of it. Handles the puck at the point. Takes the feed. Off a stick. Colorado's got it in their own zone. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. He scores! Great shin comes through! Well, I can think of about four different things he could have done with the puck than that. That turnover is costly as it ends up in his own net. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Avs win it. Puck grabbed by Taves. And they'll dump it in. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Maintains possession. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Gloves save and the play continues. Sharp reaction save. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The centermen glide into position. St. Louis with a big defensive zone faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Perron. Feeds the puck to Sanford. Loses his balance on the play. Gives him nothing in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Denies him again! Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Burakowski's got it along the wing. A chance from the slot. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And he denied that opportunity. 
Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Misses! That's a little bit of panic. The puck is on his stick. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. Right in front with the shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Now he takes it over the line. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Avs are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. And their first chance to use the man advantage. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. McKinnon's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Blocked in traffic. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Moves it to Cole. Oh, what a save by Bennington. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Sanford's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here comes the official's decision. The Avalanche have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. That's a bad reaction. He's beat. He's out of position. He just turns around and whacks him. Just a good old-fashioned hack. The Blues with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. With such a long five on three power play in front of them they can afford to be patient don't take the first shot take the best shot and they can't connect puts it up front and a stick in the lane ends that threat trying to get the puck out of his own end and he gets the job done big thumbs up clearing that one quick pass across to o'reilly and a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up time for the officials to hand out the judgment the abs are being called for tripping Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. And with that call, it's a five-on-three power play set to go. Five-on-three can really change the game. Tip it on its head by getting a couple goals on a rather lengthy power play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Tries to get it over to Bozak. And now it's grabbed by Sanford. Denies him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Too much congestion in front. Now he slides it up to Sanford. Takes a shot and makes the save. Right to the middle from the slot. Big stop by the keeper. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Grubauer is able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. St. Louis takes possession off the faceoff. Made the save on the play. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Belmar's won a big draw on their own end. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Quick pass to O'Reilly. Sends the pass over. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. St. Louis is on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Belmar's one possession. The Avs take it along the wing. St. Louis has it behind the cage. And now he moves it to Schwartz and tries to make a diagonal pass to Shen. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty-killing unit on that one. 
Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. The Blues are on the attack. Hangs onto the puck. Here's a short pass to Krug. Puts it on net from the point. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Strong defensive effort. Makes the save. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Colorado's got it from behind the net. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Bennington's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. In the final moments of this period, it's all tied up. The Avs win the faceoff. Right in the slot. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Moves it around along the half wall. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Quick feed to McKinnon. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he's ridden off the puck. Pushes it across to play. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Stays with it. And the puck's kicked free. Colorado's got it behind the net. Through center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Loose puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Scandella. Sends it over to Bozak. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Knocked away. Taken by Thomas. Nice pass. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Here they come on the attack. The Avs will play it from the corner. St. Louis has possession of it now. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Cole. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And they can't convert to the play. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Moves it to Bozak. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Fails to find the open man. The Avs take it across the blue line. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Quick pass to Kadri. Move to the middle. Wrist one. Stopped by the goaltender. The most fun save for the goaltender. The glove stop. Oh, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not fair. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Perron's going to play it against the half wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. And he elects to play the puck. First period comes to an end. I'll tell you what, anybody who bought a ticket for this one is feeling like they got their money's worth. Are you looking for information on the stars of tomorrow today? Check out page 21 of the program or our website for profiles on farm team members on the verge of making it to the big league. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Blues look like they're climbing uphill trying to generate something offensively. They really have not been dangerous at all. The Avs gain possession along the wall. 
And that pass goes awry. Puck picked up by Krug. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Schwartz has the puck against the half wall. And that one's broken up. And he slides it quickly to Landeskog. It's a two-on-one. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. No, he, he scores! He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. I'm loving the way they attacked on this rush here, James. Once they realized they had the extra man, they moved the puck quickly, and the defenders just can't keep up. The Avs make their way back to the face-off circle at center ice, uh, clinging to a one-goal lead. Now, this middle period will have great importance. They have the one-goal lead. You don't want to give it back. Dumps it in. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Blues take it along the wall. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Passes over to Fulton. And now he tries to get it across to O'Reilly. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Delayed penalty looming. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see who's off to the box. Sanford's off to the box, holding the call. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. Sometimes it's just your night, and the way that they've performed on the power play, it kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. They clear the zone. Puck grabbed by Nachuskin. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And that's taken by the defense. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Girard. Takes it and looks ahead. Strong defensive effort. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Puck slid down the ice. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. The Avs take it across the line. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick feed to Taze. The Blues have it against the wall. And it's kicked away. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Gerard's moving the puck through his own zone. And now it's over to Jost. The Blues get their man back out of the box. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. O'Reilly's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Here comes the sentence. The Avs are getting penalized for slashing. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. Well, that might have been more than that. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. What a great chance here. Down by a goal, and you have an opportunity to tie it up on the power play. No room for that one to get through. And now it's grabbed by Schwartz and tries to make a diagonal pass to Shen. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. St. Louis has lots of time for this five-on-three. Not often you get a five-on-three of this length. You can score early. You might be able to get two. And the puck clears the zone. The Blues have it behind the cage. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Denies him! Grubauer is able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. Landeskog's playoff production is so impressive. Among the best in the league in goals here in this playoff season. The Avs have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. 
Moves it quickly over to Pareko. Right in the low slot. And he loses control of the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Tarasenko's caught with this stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Belmar's getting two for hooking. This is why coaches are always on you to keep your feet moving. As soon as you stop, now you have to reach out and try and slow your opponent down. The Blues could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. Guaranteed, James, the last thing the coach said to these guys coming out for the five-on-three is be urgent, be on the puck, be aggressive. That's on the stick. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Lets it fly, and that's blocked away. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They move the puck out of harm's way. Quick feed to Thomas. Takes the pass. And he gains the zone here. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Steps in front of it for the block. Moves it to Bozak. Stopped by the goaltender. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Colorado's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Taves is slowed down with the hook, and the officials are calling for a delayed penalty. Shen's going off for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Really only two ways to play the four-on-four. -four. You're either uber-aggressive or you're ultra-conservative. I want to be aggressive, force the other guys into a mistake. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Centering pass! Stick collapses. Yeah, it does, and that's frustrating for the player. Everything right, but the stick is wrong. From the top of the offensive zone here, Tarasenko's able to jump back into the play. Heady work by the trainer to get him a new stick. And another stop! Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. The Avs are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Across the line from center. Move to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Colorado's now gone ahead by two here tonight. And you know what? They've been the better team, Ray. I don't think that's up for much debate at all. They've had the majority of shots, the majority of possession, and a comfortable two-goal lead. Scored on the power play by number 91. Toss it up on the play. Colorado's looking to break out. Gains the zone through the middle. All alone! And he makes the save. St. Louis has it near the wall. The Avs have it from the corner. Grabbed along the boards by Pareko. Taken by Cole. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puts it on net. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Bennington. Puck scooped up by O'Reilly. Smart defensive play there. Quick pass to Jost. And the puck departs the zone. 
Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Puck picked up by Blay. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Avs move it in. Dumps it into the Ozone. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Looks to pass it to Bortuzzo. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Receives the pass. Slides the puck across to Comper. Great positioning in the defensive end. Steen's got it along the boards. Handles the pass at center. And he was right there. They can't connect. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the call. The Avalanche have to serve two for tripping. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Another power play opportunity coming up here. While they've had some chances, the goaltender's getting way too clean a look on the power play. They need some traffic there. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Blues have it behind the net. Gets the puck over to Schwartz. And that's picked off in front. And they get the puck out of harm's way. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. The Avs will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. They get it out of the defensive end. St. Louis has possession of it now. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Passes it over to Pareko. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Couldn't find the intended target. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Here's a chance behind the net. Battle along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Tarasenko. The Blues get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you show them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Avs have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Snaps it on net! St. Louis gains control of the puck. Slides it up to Perron. And now he angles it across to Fulk. The Blues looking against the half wall. That goes off the post and stays out. The Blues are a pretty frustrated group. They've had plenty of chances tonight. I don't know how many times, James, they've rang one off the post there, and they just can't get back into the game. And now he moves it to Steen. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's a short pass to Bozak. Who's the puck? Scores on the one-timer! I don't know if this is the hardest shot ever, but this is a quick release. Beats the goalie low glove side. The Blues have narrowed the gap here late in this second period. Some momentum for them now. Now they want to close this period off well. Get themselves into the third with a chance to get back into it. Cool. He's got a step. Denies him. No, he's going to be disappointed with that effort, James. The goalie beats him cold. Alexander Steen. Gains the zone from the right. 
Grabs control of it at the point. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. From point blank, stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Late goings of this period. The Blues still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Picks up the puck in his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Taken along the wall by Rantanen. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. And now it's over to Donskoy. Look out, a two-on-one. Manages to hang on. Way too much congestion blocks that. Quick feed to Barbashev. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Skates to the crease. Turns it away. Second period nearly in the books here. Nice poke check. The Avalanche have it now. Comes up with the stop. Moves it quickly over to Barbashev. Puck picked up in the open ice. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Centering pass. Here's a shot. Stones him in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go, third period is underway. And a souvenir for one lucky fan will bring us to a face-off on the ice. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Moves it to Rantanen. Colorado's on the attack. Forces the turnover. The Blues have it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And there's the save. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Pokes the puck away. Battling for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Schwartz. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tarasenko. Not able to connect. Makars taking it from his own end. Quick pass to McKinnon. Moves right to the middle. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Through center along the wing. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by O'Reilly. Here's a short pass to Krug. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Blues take over on possession. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that one's stopped. Pennington's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Colorado's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. The Avs win the draw. Snaps it onto the net and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Gerard stick handling in his own zone. 
The abs carried along the wall. Hammers a shot. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Puck grabbed by Bozak. And now he angles it across to Thomas. Slides the puck to Donskoy. Grabbed along the board by Thomas. Fires it into the offensive zone. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Sends a pass oh. over. He scores! Now the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Avalanche have scored a big goal here in this third period. It's funny, James. If you come into the third period with a two-goal lead, everybody says it's the worst lead in hockey. Now you score in the first five minutes. It's a great lead. I'm so confused. Always. Can't keep a hold of it. Quick feed to Nichuskin. Great pressure forcing the turnover. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Calvert. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. Moves it to Bortuzzo. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Move to the middle. The blocker saved by Grubauer. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. St. Louis looks to go on the attack. Schwartz gains the zone. Quick pass to Barbashev. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Grubauer. Sends it over to Burakovsky. With possession along the wall. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck set across the blue line. Big save. Grubauer's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Still lots of time left in the period. The Avs lead it 4-2. McKinnon's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Puck battle along the boards. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Landeskog. And now he moves it to Rantanen. The Avs are in transition. And he regains control of the puck. Rantanen's got it in the defensive end. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Quick feed to Shen. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Oh, going wide! Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Picked up along the wall by Landeskog. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Huge hit! Whoa, he got wrapped one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Here we go! Here's a chance! Denies him with a big-time save! He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Nobody wants to take a step back here. One team makes a hit, it seems like the other team's got to answer right away. It's been like that all game long. Colorado's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Sends the pass over. Dishes it to Fulk. And now he passes it to Sanford. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Gives them nothing in front. Comfer's lugging the puck. Scrum along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Taken along the wall by Johnson. St. Louis has it near the wall. Taken by Donskoy. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. And now it's over to Comfer. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. They were on their heels, forcing an icing, and they're not going to get much of a break on this either. No, you get tired, you make a bad pass, or you just panic and clear it down the ice. Now you got to try and win a draw and get it safely out of the zone so you can change. 
Well past the midway mark of this period. 4-2 is the score. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. The Blues played along the wing. And that's picked off in front. Colorado's moving it up the ice. He grabs the puck here at the point. Pushes it across to Thomas. Directs it on over to Fulk. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Sends it over. Denies him in front. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Colorado's got it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Thomas. Looks to make a play over to Fulk. From one point man to another. An easy glove save made by Grubauer. I wanted to look at this again to show you how the goaltender tracks the puck across the front of the net on the play to make the save. The centermen glide into position. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes a wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. Grubauer's strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. And that one's broken up. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Let's it go from the slot, and that goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center. He scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Blues have closed the gap here in the back half of the third. Still time to go, but now they've given themselves a fighting chance. Colorado's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Avs take it along the wall. Lays the body. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Moves it quickly over to Bortuzzo. Handles it again. Nice zone entry on the left side. And he sprints to the bench to get... And they score! I guess they didn't need that power play after all. See, I still think they should get the power play. Really? Yeah, the guy committed a foul. You should go to the box. Just if you scored on a delayed penalty, it shouldn't wipe the penalty off. Ferraro, you're savage. No, I want more goals. Hard to get him much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. St. Louis has evened things up. Does anybody have momentum here with an even game late? Yeah, the team that just scored, I think they do for sure. They feel good about themselves and they want to go chase the winner. Denied by the goaltender. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the puck. No one home on that play. Krug's got the puck in his own zone. Colorado's got it against the boards. Puts it in deep. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Sends one up to Perron. Here they come up along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. Nice pass. Grabs him with the glove. Grubauer's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Moves it to Krug. And the defenders come up with the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Pareko. Slides the puck over. Graves plays it now. The Blues have it against the wall. Schwartz plays the puck. Here's Edson, he scores! And the bench jumped right up. Both teams go. The longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. He 
no way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. The Blues come up with a big goal here in the third. There's a difference between sitting back and protecting and trying to grow the lead. I always like the team that works to make a one-goal lead, too. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And some good footwork to kick it away. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass to Steen. Pumps the puck away. Here he is in front. Can't connect. Can't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. Puck picked up by Gerard. Gaining momentum along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. The Avalanche have it now. Comes up with the stop. continues to lead here late in this third period. The Avs win it. Here's a short pass to Jost. From point blank range, he scores! And we are tied here late in this third period! They never took their foot off the gas. Trying to find the equalizer a couple of times, I thought it was there. Now finally it's in the net late in the third. We're all tied. The Avs have essentially said to everybody, buckle up as they have even things up. You get into the last five minutes, it becomes a crapshoot in a tie game. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Strong defensive effort. Gains the zone on the left wing. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick pass to Nichuskin. Here's a chance. Unleashes a cannon. Stops the rocket of a shot. And it's a quick pass to Barbashev. Throws it in. Quick feed to Gerard. Takes the pass. Gets the puck in deep. St. Louis has possession of it now. The Avs ready to go on the attack. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Intercepts it at center. Battle along the boards. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Break away! And that's broken up! He uses his skating and his stick to sweep the puck away to prevent the scoring chance. Here in the later stages of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Avs win the faceoff. Oh, what a stop! Shen's caught with the hook and the officials saw it. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. The Avalanche have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve <laughs> his minor penalty. St. Louis has a chance to really change things on this power play. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Moves it on over to Schwartz. Rocks him on the play. Now over to O'Reilly. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. A big face off here inside the offensive end. And a solid job tying up a 
this opponent. Here's a chance. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Graves carries the puck in his own zone. There's the horn. Regulation time has expired, and we are off to overtime. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three. That offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by Overtime is just moments away. Offers. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro. This is what we live for. Overtime, let's go. St. Louis is still on the power play as play resumes here at the start of this period. Drills them, takes a shot, and makes the save. Schwartz gets caught on the train tracks, and he's going to take a big hit here. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Blues take possession off the face-off. Moves it to Schwartz. Plus it denies him in front. There's another stop. Overtime winner, they score! tonight including a little overtime yeah i thought this was going to be a close game anyway james but these two teams looked like they were locked together from the very beginning this puck hit the ice pretty much a toss-up wasn't it and, and it still is even though the overtime winner is done it's still a toss-up between these teams well this one's in the books a fun one tonight for ray ferraro my name is james sabalski thanks for joining us everyone good night